BYU women's basketball team moving from Zaga to win the West Coast Conference Tournament Championship game. And they hit it 78 to 66 to get the automatic bid to the big dance next week. Head coach Jeff Jenkins and the tournament MVP, sixth year senior Haley Steve with us up in our skybox. Maybe next year we'll say seventh year senior, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Coach, congratulations on, on, on where does this sit among your big victories? It's right up there. Yeah. Is there, you know, we've we've gone a long time without having this opportunity to, to win the tournament. In fact, the last time we won it was 2002, my first year of coaching the women. So it's been a long time for me, and you uh, know, I think it's been long for Haley too. She's been along the ride with me, and but I'm just so happy. It's you know, so many players have really worked so hard to have this opportunity. Well, you've had three knee surgeries and all of that stuff. That's well documented. But in this second half, first half, you're down by eight points. And it looks like the game could get away. What happened that you helped get things turned around to where you took the lead and, and then take the time? I think in that stretch, the biggest thing was girls came in and hit big shots. Steph Vermont had a three on the wing. Kim had one in the corner. And Danny just had a solid game. I feel like she hit a big shot every time we needed one tonight. But I, I mean, we knew that it was going to be a game of runs. We talked about it before the game, and that was their run in the first half, and we knew that we couldn't dig ourselves a hole like we did when we were in Spokane. We're watching some of your work, 17 points and eight assists, and uh, and you were double teaming an awful lot, putting a new ball down the floor, and, and I thought what I was impressed by was your ability to be patient and feed Hampson down low where he said he had no answer. Jen played so good today. I'm so proud of her. Um, I, I feel like we count a lot on Jen, and she kind of has a lot of pressure on her when she comes in because uh, we use her a lot, and we tell her to follow the ball and post up, and she wanted it tonight, today, and, and yeah, there was a couple times where I felt like I held it on the wing for a minute and kind of had to wait for her to get position, but she was fighting for it, and I'm really proud of her. She had a great game. There were times you were jumping around like you were 18 years old down there on the floor. <laughs> it looked like you were having the time of your life once you got ahead by a few points. Yeah, once you got ahead. You know, I, I've tried to learn, Dave, that you enjoy every moment. I think sometimes we get spoiled where we are used to winning or things go our way, and we've kind of – I've had some ups and downs. You know, we've had great teams, and we haven't been able to just get over the hump. And uh, I think most coaches, if I said this, the last two weeks of the season – is the most stressful time of a, of a coach because it either makes you or breaks you. Right. And today, you know, last night I told the team, we had our kind of walked through our, looked at our stuff, what were we going to play, how were we going to play them, and I could just tell my team was focused, tell they were ready. And uh, I, was, I was way more or less nervous today than I was Saturday. I think because of that. Well, I thought, I thought you played, played like an NCAA tournament team today. So now let's talk about going to the show and representing BYU in the, in the big dance. We've been waiting a long time for it. Um, last year we felt like we had the kind of season to make it to the tournament. And then when we got to the conference tournament, we didn't perform. And we were really disappointed in ourselves because, like I said, we felt like we had that caliber of season to make it to the NCAA. So this year, from the very get-go, our number one, the number one thing on our list was go to the NCAA tournament. And we kind of dug ourselves a hole in conference losing to, to Pepperdine and the San Francisco Those two games kind of killed us. And so we knew coming into this tournament that the only way that we could feel comfortable going into the selection show was just to win it and, and not kind have any questions. Take the edge off yeah. a little bit. If there was one game that might prepare you for the NCAA tournament, I would think we're going to go way back to uh, when the season began where you had Duke mm -hmm. at the Marriott Center and saw that you could go toe-to-toe -to -toe and had five different ways to win that game. And so now you know whatever seed you're at, Coach, you know that you can compete with yeah, the top five I, I, you know, That's part of the reason we scheduled some hard games. We, we felt like we needed to have that experience, Dave, and be able to play good teams and not be afraid. And, and I mean, Gonzaga's been ranked the whole year, so beating them twice this year was great for us. But Duke, Kansas State, Arizona, Syracuse, those are some games we played early that I thought really helped us. It, you know, it got us through when things were tough. We could do it. These guys, if they come out and play, Jen decides to show up, watch out. Because, uh, you know, they, they really know how to pass the ball around. And Haley's a big part of it. Haley runs, this, runs the, whole, the whole show for us. Well, you hit the jackpot in Las Vegas and you didn't have to play one spot. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. Thank hey, you. Nice job. Thank you. Tournament MVP now on to the NCAA tournament.